Charles Barkley, legendary, didn't uh, doesn't didn't experience that, but still a legendary Hall of Famer. You know, Mike yeah, Trout. I have a funny story with, yeah. with Charles Barkley, bro. Oh, let's talk about a Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> so before we keep going, so yeah, yeah, like me and my family, we all have. This is off track, though. By the way, no, you're good, you're good. You know, this is your interview. Like, they all have weird names, right? Like my older brother's <laughs> Austin, but it's Austin. O S T I N, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm Jeremy, basic, base, basic as hell. My sister's Hacy, like Hey and C. And then my little brother's name is Charles, like C H A R O S, right? Charles. And I'm asking my dad about these names. I'm like, yeah, where you get these names from? And then I'm like, all right, what about my little brother? Like, I get Austin, I get, you know, Hey C, but like Charles, <laughs> like, where you get that from? <laughs> And this man looked me this this man looked me dead in my eyes and he was like he goes he goes you youngest don't know nothing about basketball man no Charles way. Barkley used to be like, the best player and I'm like I'm like no way this man just said Oh. They just said Charles Barkley, bro. I was like, Oh my so god! Today I called my little brother Barkley. Barkley. Yeah. Yo, oh my god. listen. So thank you, oh, that's a gem right thank there. you. Funny. Shout out to Charles Barkley if you're watching. Thank you, Charles Barkley. You know, you're the reason uh, <laughs> Jeremy Pena's brother was named by his father Charles. But how do you spell it though? How do you spell your brother's name? C H A R O S. Charles. 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 So it's like so it's like it's like Carlos mixed with Charles. Charles Barkley, bro. Man, you gotta you gotta love that about you gotta love that. That's amazing, man. Oh my god. Listen, man, that that stuff right there, that's that's amazing, man. And your father. He, he seems like a hell of a hell of a character, man. And then how did did you have any conversations with him since then? Like him being an MLB, his career, he didn't win. Obviously, he didn't win. A, he did. Did he win a championship? Did it throughout his career? Did he have any significant like accolades throughout his career that you can that you can recall that he mentions? See, the thing is that now, so my whole life, it was like. Oh, you can't tell me nothing until you play in the big leagues. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't tell me nothing until you do this. You can't tell me nothing until you do that. But now I got the ring. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm like, I don't want to hear if you ain't got a ring. Every time, oh, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Every time Pops talks, it's like, like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, nah, but it's cool, man. It's cool. No, I love that, that you have even that camaraderie and that friendship, you know, with your father because I think it's very significant, you know, us as young men, young black men, young Spanish men, men of color, you know, especially the Dominican culture, like you stated earlier, like, you know, the stuff that we go through when it comes to the emotional barriers that's placed on us, the stigmas, having a strong father figure is one of the main things that keeps us going. Without that, bro, we really, you know, we really suffer and we really struggle in life. So shout out to your dad, man. Round of applause for his father. Hey. They gonna love me for my ambition.